So, uh, for those of you who watched the movie, and for those of you who can count the amount of stars and, like, it's been remembering how many I've missed, to which we have 49 right now, uh, you would know this is the last level. <laughs> so, here we go. Also, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Find Nemo. Last time we went for the treatment plant, I need to move the house. It just cuts there. Just ding. Not even multiple, just one. You only get go. one. Where's the all the fish swim down? Oh, so you got 69 seconds and 24 rings. Uh, sorry fish, but bubble rings are more important than your lives. No offense, Dory, but like... You know, you kinda, kinda rude sometimes. I'm just gonna go for these rings. What is probably the easiest star to get in the entire game. Cause it's hey. just... Right here. Hey, that's pretty quiet. Hello. Right, where'd you go? There you are. Are they gonna be like the turtles and just randomly stop? Oh. No, that's the obstacle. Okay. I think I can. I think I can. Why is it like... I, I was expecting it to go in order, you know, from left to right. But no, it's just like... Some random fish... On the... Top. That moved down. Alright, I need to actually start avoiding the trash now. Also it doesn't show up, I mean it might not. Oh, there it is. Anyway. Yeah. You know, why is there so much trash and stuff coming off of this boat and falling down here? Are we break? Oh, you know what? Those are like bolts and stuff, aren't they? From the boat breaking from all the fish doing this. Dang, we are damaging so much property. Oh, this is going to be some expensive repair. Why are there so many pieces to this boat, like fishing net? How many bolts are on this thing? I'm running out of time. Oh, where's Dory? Dory, please. No! I got... I got bonked on the noggin. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'll dash for these early parts so I can take it slow later. I didn't think about that. I forgot about the fact that the timer could possibly be bad. Did she, did she show up in the random spots or is she actually going the same ones each time? I feel like the the hut is definitely going. It, oh, I didn't see that one. The hut is definitely. Never mind. I was gonna say that one was definitely doing the same ones each time because I thought the first and second one did. But I guess I was wrong. It's just random spots each time. Random set spots, rather. Also, I love how I can see the fish spawning in. As we go around this, it's great. Okay, which direction are you going? Because I should probably see which direction you go first. And then move. Instead of just only going right. To which only going right would work, but it would have done a full rotation. I'm blind to get there. You know, I honestly did not expect this to be, uh, taking this many attempts. I thought it was gonna be a lot faster. I thought it was gonna be like a two minute, two minute level. Honestly, uh, I guess I was wrong. But that's fine. It's just because I'm blind and I can't see these, like, rusty bolts falling from the sky. some more in here. 
Okay, yeah, no. Oh my god. Following Nemo's dad is definitely a lot better of an idea than just going and only right. That went so much better. That's it, right? Okay, cool. I feel like you, I could have died there and had to do the whole thing again even after that. Those fishermen were definitely lucky that that thing snapped. Otherwise, their boat was gonna, like, capsize. So just then, the sea cucumber looks over to the mollusk and says, With fronds like these, who needs anemones? <laughs> Well, hello, Nemo. Who's this? Exchange student. I'm from the EAC, dude. Sweet. Totally. <laughs> but seriously, Marty, did you really do all the things you say you did? Martin? Is that what his name was? Oh, we just wanted to make sure that our newest member was safe safely. Thanks, guys. Keep up with the program, Dory. Remember, fish are friends. Not food. Bye. Hold on. This one's not quiet as the one, but it's definitely quieter than most. So I could not hear them. But one opportunity. Love you, Dad. I love you too, son. And just like that, there's no credits. I actually kind of didn't remember if there was credits or not. And then there's the giant starfish. And we have 50 old uh, starfish urinos collected. Sweet. Neat them. What's it with the bonus here? Is before even discussing the giant starfish. Oh. Wait. What? Is a giant starfish like credits? Credits? Cause I thought the giant starfish was what we were like, what we just saw. Oh yeah, this is credits. Okay. <laughs> you have to opt into that one. Got it. That picture of the boat. I have no idea. I forgot. I have to hit up still. Oops. Yeah, I just like the level so much. I want to do it again. That's all. That's it. That's the whole reason, you know? Also, that was a... That was like a one second cutscene. You can tell because the Y button showed up in the corner. But you can't skip the in-game cutscenes, I don't think. Or maybe you can. Actually, I think you can. Yeah, never mind. I'm stupid. Oh my god, like, <laughs> look at this. I mean, they're both pretty big compared to Nemo, but still, Dory looks huge. Can I... can I not hit that? Do you hit that? Oh, you specifically hit that. Uh, for record, this is my favorite level of the whole game. I played this one a lot as a kid. Like... This was just the level that I played over and over again. I, re I just really liked this one. And the first one. I, I played the first one a lot, but not because I like necessarily liked it, but just because uh, I, like, I just remember playing it a bunch, trying to get like, all the like, cool stuff, like all the bubble rings failing. You know. Uh, it's like, oh well. Can we do anything about you? No. Let's not take it. Do we need to get Dory over here though? But first, let's look for whatever switches we got. Still left. Is there another one on this side? No, I think we just have to go through the tunnel. And then we 
have to blitz with somebody. I don't know which fish to hit it with. We do have to hit it with a fish of some sort. I'm going to guess Dory. She hasn't really pushed much, and she also pushes the bigger rocks. So it makes sense for her to hit the big blitz. I don't know why she can't hit those switches, though. I guess it's just to make it so Dory can't just do everything, for the most part. That rock just stopped assisting. Yeah, like, she's definitely able to hit that, be strong enough to hit that. Yeah, you know, oh well. Oops. Alright, we gotta go from here. Uh, I do know where the pebbles go. So, I'm just gonna... Oh. Never mind. No, oh, please come back. I don't know if that's bad if you fall down there. So, uh, sit right here for me, please. Cool. Hello you again. We go back through here. And now we let out the balloons. Fortunately, they don't actually show up up here. It would have been really cool if they did. That red. Yes. It is. Okay. The, the more, more you know. Okay, and also, I uh, maybe have misremembered where all these pebbles go. I just remember Nemo is required for at least one of them. I have to go through this path first. Never mind. Uh, oh, right, we opened this lid. I kind of forgot about that part. Oops. I should take the right one already. But man, going from like, Nemo's dad, to Dory, to Nemo... It, it makes uh, Nemo feel so slow. Because this level has to be scaled to work for all three of them. And because, like, oh, okay. well, I guess I was wrong about the blue one, or I thought the blue one was what's great. But because, like, Dory is so much larger than Nemo, Nemo is so small by comparison to, like, the scale of the level. It's like, it's like you're just moving so slowly. But, thankfully, it's not too slow, you know? Like, you do feel not quick at all, but you don't feel like you're going literally nowhere anytime soon. Like, that that's the good part. Yeah, I should say the green one for last, because that's my favorite color. Oh well. Too late now. I, uh... Don't remember where the blue pebble is. Just gonna be honest here. Is it in the balloon container? That would make sense. No, right, that's where the red green bubble, or like red pencil green bubble was. Huh. I don't know how I forgot this. I really don't. I mean, it's been forever since. I don't know, forever, but it's been like a couple years since I've played this level. But. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot this, how many times I have played this level before. Bad perspective on this spot. It's so weird. Oh, wait. Now I know why I can't find it. I'm stupid. Hang on. Remember that part where, like, I'm not smart? Yeah, that, that still exists. Hey, uh, hey. Actually, no, I still have to carry this Nemo. No one died because Dory can't swim through the current. And Nemo's dad can't go through the question mark path while carrying a pebble. So yeah, Nemo has to be the one to carry the pebbles. That's his job. Like, the other two are just prep up everything for him to move the pebbles. Which is kind of silly. But makes sense, because, like, Nemo wouldn't be stronger than either of them. 
or fasted than either of them. So like, this is the only job you can give him. And there we go. Just like that, we're done! Last level, we've seen everything. We didn't get all the starfish, but we definitely got a lot of them. Yeah, 51 of them. Not bad. Only missing 9? I'll, I'll take it, honestly. That, that's a pretty good amount. So what, what, what in the end did we miss? We missed... A bubble ring from Treatment Plant. Bubble rings from Whale Chase. Bubble rings from East Australian Current. That's three. Uh, bubble rings from Mass Search. The bubble rings and... Uh, enemies from the submarine. Bouncing from the minefield. The bubble rings from the drop off. And the bonus level of the field trip. So most of them were bubble rings. Because, you know. They, they are not the easiest thing to get sometimes. And in the case of the East Australian Current, they're just straight up hidden from you. And that's what makes them difficult to get. It's the fact that they're just hidden. But, as as you gotta do when you're making a, a Let's Play on a, on a game, you gotta show the credits, you know? Give everyone who worked on the game their uh, credit. I couldn't think of a different word. So yeah, like, here, here's the people who, uh, help make the game. Hooray. I have nothing to say during the credits, because we just had that whole bonus level. Oh, well, excuse me again. But, you know, I will. I wonder if they got to choose what color letters they wanted. Or if they just, like, just made everyone's names, uh, just a random color. I feel like they got to choose, you know? I, I feel like that's something, like, you just go, Good work, everybody, I'm making this game. Uh, you know, like, the, just, just for that little added bonus of satisfaction, we're gonna let you, like, pick what color text your name is. Because, like, that just makes it a lot nicer because then you're like one you're satisfied that you made the game right and then you get to be like and my name shows up the way I want it to show up and like that that's nice and that's a good thing are they swimming by randomly are they going in a set order as they go back and forth and my back and forth uh is mean from a set animation each time. Okay, no, it's it's definitely a random order because Gil and the the pufferfish were not that close together. The last time I saw them. Oh, Nemo Dad actually does go both directions. Interesting. Oh, yep, there's the pufferfish again. Now the real question is though, is it like actually random? Like, did they make it so they actually just randomly go by? Or did they make it so, like, uh, it's actually, like, put into the game that, like, this one goes here, or, like, at this time and whatnot? I like to believe that it's actually random, but I feel like if we watched credits again, we would find out. And by, I feel like, I mean, I know so, like, if it not the same the second time you go through the credits and it's actually random or it's a few presets which I doubt they would just do presets they would just make it random but uh, you know that also requires going through the credits again which uh, by the looks of it takes a while because like the first part of it goes pretty slowly and then and it goes to like actual normal credit thing. So it does seem like it's about to end if they're going to special things. Also, I love how Bruce just swims on up and backs away. 
Like, he doesn't even have the other two sharks. It's just Bruce. Only Bruce. He has a big old grin on his face. I'm not sure if I trust him. Oh, okay, well I guess there's more after the special things. Whatever happened in the good old days where special things were at the ending of the credits, so you could just be like, oh, here's the special things. Cool, we're at the end. Granted, I think more often than uh, special things are at the end, it's usually the big giant logos that end off games. I feel like that's more consistent. I, I like that v dot p dot comma. It just looks weird. But this was a this was a fun game to go back through. Definitely did a lot more than I thought, and uh, the things that I was dreading to do weren't as bad, except for that one extra level, the only level I did not beat in this entire game, because I don't have the patience to go bounce on like over a hundred of the whatever the heck those are called. I don't know what the heck you're bouncing on in that level, and do it in one life. Like, if it was, like, the ball levels, where you actually keep your progress, or, like, any of the actual main levels where you keep your progress, except for Minefield, I think. I don't think the Minefield keeps your progress. Then, like, that would be fine. But it doesn't. Thus, it sucks. And it's bad. <laughs> but, that's just my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm just terrible at doing it. I am. But, uh... And, but you know, it's like, some people probably like it, and by some people probably, I mean, like, some people definitely like that level, or like minigame, gimmick, I don't know. But, either way, that'll do it for this episode of, uh, Finding Nemo. Uh, next time, I have no idea what I'm gonna play. I haven't thought about it at all since, uh, eh, I don't know why I keep having, like, pause, but, uh, I, yeah, I haven't thought about it at all since I determined that this was going to be the game I play, so, yay, I have three days to think about it because I have three episodes from this session, so, uh, see you in whatever the heck I upload after this, might even be on the same day, I don't know, I, I might have recorded Rogue Legacy or Fallon or something. See you all then. Bye-bye.